We made it to the Outer Banks of North Carolina last night. We're at Meg's Head. The plan was to get up and shoot sunrise this morning at a pier, but I'm tired and I have this epic meetup photography trip across the US and I have to keep reminding myself that that's the big picture. Getting across from Phoenix to New York with Jody has kind of been about sightseeing. It's about kind of cruising and not worrying so much about taking pictures and trying to find places that maybe I want to come back to. So I'm trying to keep rested, trying to keep relaxed, trying to catch enough sleep before this crazy, crazy road trip happens. So that's why there's no photography this morning and I'm done explaining myself. We come to Avalon Pier. This is where I wanted to shoot photography this morning. Um, and, but I still wanted to check it out, to scout it out, to see what it looked like. And I also wanted to fly the drone here because I thought it would be really interesting to pay homage to the Wright Brothers. The Wright Brothers National Monument is just literally that back that way. And how cool is it that we've gone from the first dudes to ever fly a plane that way to having a drone that flies in our backpacks like that with, with a full HD camera. But kind of ironically, I'm not allowed to fly here because of regulations. So I think we're gonna explore just a little bit really quickly. This is really beautiful up here. And then head up the coastline and see what's up there a little bit and maybe find somewhere where it's legal to fly the drone. I think a lot of people outside the US, including myself, had no idea there was this much like perfect beach and coastline in the US. Basically all the way from the Jersey Shore all the way down to Miami, it's just beautiful coastline. Absolutely stunning here. And I think we're gonna go explore a little more of it. We've come way up, way up the Outer Banks and it's beautiful. We're having so much fun kind of just house hunting. Like just trying to find our favorite house here on, uh, on the coast of Cal California. <laughs> on the coast of North Carolina and there's so many places that I think I could totally come and spend just like, I don't know, a month hanging out, not talking to anybody. Except for maybe you guys. I, mean, I couldn't I'm leave and Jody. I couldn't leave you guys or Jody for a whole month. Um, we're here on the beach, gonna fly the drone in honor of the Wright brothers. First flight ever from North Carolina and Ella Drone is now paying homage to the Wright brothers. Let's fly. random neighborhood in Virginia because I needed an energy drink and Jody just swears she saw a Hawaii plate <laughs> but now we're stuck behind a school bus and what if it's gone by the time we get back there? Oh, I, I didn't see it 
remember early in license plate bingo i found the license plate that i swear was hawaii but jody didn't see it so we couldn't count it so now jody's seen one that i can't count no i don't know if this is we need to go back and check it because i think i might be seeing things you know like in the desert when you see it you know, jody always sees things so i would not be surprised if this isn't a hawaii plate my guess is it's a dealer plate that has a rainbow it's like rainbow ford there's no way there's a Hawaii plate <laughs> in this place in Virginia. That's because you gotta stop doing mushrooms, girl. It was this one. This one, this one, this one. This is the one you thought it was. Is it? No, it's not. <laughs> it is! Yeah! Is it though? It is! Hawaii's driving for us! Hawaii! Yes! <laughs> I guess there's a Hawaii plate in this random suburb in Virginia. So glad that I needed that energy drink. And I cannot believe Jody spotted that because it's, yeah, that was hard to spot. Um, I guess that leaves us two to go. We got North Dakota and Delaware, and we're actually driving through Delaware tomorrow. So we should get that in theory. But I think that North Dakota one's gonna be, that's gonna be a mission now. But I didn't think we'd see Hawaii, done and dusted. Come on, North Dakota. So if you've noticed me putting on a little bit of weight when we've been in the US, it's not America's fault. It's Jody's fault. Yay. If you haven't checked out Jody's channel, go check it out. There's a link somewhere here and in the description of the video. But on Jody's channel, she's putting together a video of the top 10 hamburgers in the United States or the top 10 fast food burgers in the US. We're at like the ninth that we're doing Fuddruckers for dinner and I'm getting fat. We started out saying I'm just gonna have like just a burger every time we do these. <laughs> and then it's been like, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll have two burgers. Maybe I'll have burgers and onion rings. And maybe burgers, onion rings, and a giant soda. And I need to go on a diet. <laughs> Loaded up on Fuddruckers for the road. You want to see where the burgers are ranked by a British girl. Check into her channel on Wednesday. I think Wednesday. Now let's talk about this sky. This is what happens whenever I don't go out and take pictures. Sky is all sorts of lit up, but we're about to get back into this Jeep and head to Washington. We made it to DC and I went on booking.com to book an apartment or a hotel and this place was on for 60 bucks one night and it's called Global Suites or something like that. And apparently there's a gift box, but it is like a giant suite here in DC, literally a block from the Capitol building. It's got a kitchen, like a beautiful dining table, a living room, a big bedroom, two bathrooms. It's a, it's its own apartment. It's amazing. And I don't think we have a view, but they say that up on the penthouse floor, that it's like an open terrace rooftop with a view. So I'm going to go up and shoot some time-lapse, even though it's nighttime and hopefully it looks cool. It's snowing outside actually. So maybe it won't be the greatest time lapse, but we'll go try anyway, because this is really exciting. Washington DC for my first ever time. And we're right next to the Capitol building. That's it, that was so much fun actually. That's a really cool place. This building is awesome. I love that there's like all these different monuments and landmarks within, you know, in all different directions in the 360. And the time lapses obviously weren't mind blowing because there's no cloud and it's nighttime rather than sunset or blue hour. But I think they were still cool, lots of like light trails from the moving cars and stuff like that. And yeah, I, it was fun to shoot. I could have probably spent the entire night up there. Now, talk about the future of the video, of the vlog, really, really quickly, where things are headed, because they're about to get crazy. And um, there's probably been a kind of a couple blocks where there haven't been vlogs just because I've been driving so much. And the driving continues tomorrow. There's gonna be 
probably a vlog from tomorrow morning where I photograph the Capitol building here in the US. Uh, I think that's what's going to happen on tomorrow's vlog. But then also tomorrow I start this epic road trip that's taking me all the way from New York City to LA. And I was going to mention to you guys the like timings of everything so you can come along with me, but then I totally just realized that there's no way this vlog is going to be online by the time it all starts, and that's kind of silly. So, for the future, if you ever want to be a part of one of these meetups, you ever want to come along on a meetup, or even if you just want to be a part of this photography community, this travel photography community that we've built, join my Facebook group, because that's where it all goes down. That's where we do photo critiques, that's where we do meetups, that's where we meet other photographers. This channel it might be about me and my life and a behind the scenes into the life of a travel photographer, but it's meant to be a community. The whole point of this channel is to create a community of travel photographers, and I think that's exemplified here on YouTube, but it's really exemplified over on that Facebook group. So go to Facebook and search Brendan Vanson's Mother Photographers, and you'll find that group. It's fun, it's a great way to interact with other like-minded photographers and get ideas and find people to go and photo photograph with and collaborate with, and yeah, it's fun. So go and do that, and I guess, and I guess that's it. This big road trip that I'm about to embark on is meant to be like a celebration of the fact that this community has reached 50,000, but it hasn't. It was like on pace to meet 50,000, and then out of nowhere, like the past couple days, the channel just gone and it's like stopped getting subs completely. And it's maybe, it's a little bit funny because I had it all planned out and it was looking like it was going to be perfect and then it's just So, if you can, if you know other photographers, share the channel. And uh, hopefully, by the time that this video is online and by the epic road trip, we're at 50,000 because that's really a really cool milestone. One I thought would never happen in my wildest dreams. And that's dead sincere. I never expected this channel to ever grow like it has. So um, thank you again for watching. And thank you for putting with, up with me the past couple days as we've been cruising across the US at breakneck speed and not shooting enough, not seeing enough, and just kind of just on, on a mission. And uh, there's going to be lots of photography coming up, though, to make up for it, not only on this epic road trip, but in Wales and the Philippines and Japan coming up in the next couple of months. So it should be fun. And I guess that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow or whenever I can get a video online. I'll see you later. Peace.